For more on the fallout for Boeing and what CEO Dave Calhoun has to do now, let's get to our panel. Jason Gursky is senior aerospace and defense analyst at City. He's got a buy rating, a 315 price target on the shares. And Michael Boyd is chairman of the Boyd Group, an aviation research and consulting firm. Michael Boyd, what's your reaction to the situation here? A piece of an airplane fell off in the sky, and I think it's not as simple as just, I, 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 I worship Phil, but I'm wondering if this is a little simpler than it really is going to be going down, because we did have an airplane that had a structural failure. Are there other airplanes out there? I think, as Phil said, the FAA is going to be very, very circumspect about it. The good news is it's not going to affect the, uh, the air transportation industry in America. It'll hurt, hurt uh, Alaska. It'll affect uh, United. But I think going forward, it may be going on a little bit beyond the next couple of days. Do you, do you, I asked Phil the question uh, about allowing these planes back in the air uh, before it would seem we know or the investigators know what exactly happened here. And his answer was basically, well, they wouldn't let them back in if they were concerned that they didn't meet the standard. Am, am I understanding that correctly? They didn't, uh, Michael, that's for you. Yeah, it is, absolutely. And Bill's right. And I, I'm, I'm thinking something as serious as this, where you have a fuselage failure in flight, uh, I think it's going to be a lot simpler than just looking at it. I know Alaska initially let 16 of them back in the sky until the FAA said no. So I, I think, I'm hoping we're right about that. But I think... A lot Phil's simpler, you said. It's right. A lot simpler, right? you said. What do you mean by that? No, I mean, it's not as simple. What I'm saying here is... What we have here is a simple situation where we do have a failure of, of a structure of an airplane. That we know. It's a serious problem. And as a serious problem, I don't think the FAA is going to let anything hit the sky, hit the runway, until they're sure that it and the airplanes that have already been built and those already at Spirit Aerosystems are completely compliant and safe. Jason, the stock is moving off the lows, and as I cited earlier, the MAX 9 appears to be a small fraction of the backlog going forward. You also say it's the only configuration, and Phil mentioned there's more demand for the 7 and the 10, but only the 9 has this plugged door configuration. Is that right? And what do you think is going on with the shares today and from here? Yeah, that's right. The Dash 9 is the one that has this plugged door. It's an aircraft that's you know largely designed for Ryanair, right, that flies more dense uh, seating configuration and therefore needs the extra doors. Other airlines aren't flying it as in, in, in such a dense way, uh, don't need those doors, and so they plug them. And I think it's really important to note here uh, that these plug doors have been in the Dash 9 going back to the NG program, which goes all the way back to the late 1990s. So this configuration has flown safely since the late 1990s. Uh, the, the, the MAX has been in service from, since 2015. So there's a long history of operations here uh, where we haven't had this kind of issue. And it's, you know, just keep in mind, this was a brand new aircraft. It was only a couple of months old. It had recently come out of an MRO facility. So it's not entirely clear what happened here, but it's pointing to something in the near term on the manufacturing side versus a design issue with uh, the aircraft. So shares are down today because, you know, People have got a discount, uh, some level of risk associated with this for Boeing. Um, and I think the financial implications for the company are, are going to be pretty de minimis and not material to the overall long-term outlook for the company, though, uh, at this point, particularly if we get planes back up and flying here uh, sometime this week. So it sounds as though you think that the, um, the, the immediate stock reaction is overblown. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we put out a note last night that suggested, you know, it's about $70 million a month in potential, you know, um, compensation charges that uh, Boeing might be facing. Um, Two airlines. Grounded aircraft. I see. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, and then maybe maybe 3% of its cash flow target is at risk here. If they were never to deliver another Dash 9 again, uh, and they weren't able to convert those orders into other variants of the, air, uh, of the 737 MAX, which I think they'd be likely to do.